Last night, the January 6th committee held a high stakes primetime hearing and they showed some never before seen footage of the attack at the Capitol. It's shocking. A warning to our viewers, this footage is both violent and graphic. Take a look. We're trying to hold the upper deck. We're trying to hold the upper deck now. We need to hold the doors of the Capitol. That is surreal. Um, a Capitol Police officer also testified last night. Caroline Edwards suffered a brain injury after someone threw a bike rack at her while she was defending the Capitol. Here's some of what she said she witnessed during the attack. What I saw was just a, a war scene. I, I mean, I saw friends with blood all over their faces. I was slipping in people's blood. It was carnage. It was chaos. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that as a police officer, as a law enforcement officer, I would find myself in the middle of a battle. DBL Nation, we have to hear from you. What do you think of last night's hearing? Was it, in your opinion, a smoking gun? Were you like, eh? Or did you believe it's a witch hunt? Or do you believe it's a witch hunt? Tori, what did you think when you were, and I see you taking notes right now. What yeah. did you think of, of the hearing last night? It's hard to watch that. I don't like really watching the, um, that whole thing. And then you saw- How does it make you feel? Why is it difficult for you to see that? It's hard for people like, for instance, the Washington commanders, I think defensive coordinator called it a dust up just like two days ago. It's not a dust up. And Brian Sicknick's wife, he died of strokes right after that. The police officer was there right behind Carolyn Edwards. And I just think we, people needed to see the actual footage from a, an unbiased documentarian. And I appreciated that. I also thought Liz Cheney, I never thought I'd say I liked a Cheney in my life. This is a patriotic woman. She is a Republican who said uh, uh, there will come a day when President Trump is gone, but your dishonor will remain. And I thought that was a really telling thing. The other thing she said that no one's ever heard is a quote from Trump after he heard they were yelling, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. There was a gallows on the field that was told to Trump in the dining room as he was watching TV next to the Oval Office. And his quote was, maybe our supporters have the right idea. He deserves it. There was audible gasps in the room. No one has heard that. You will hear more bombshells like this, like what I thought was a seven part plan that Trump had thought of way long ago to make this happen, including ending with the tweet, get there, it will be wild about January 6th. Steve Bannon saying there will be hell tomorrow, repeating it. This seems like a conspiracy is what they're trying to prove. I thought they did a good job. They said they're going to blow the roof off. Do you believe they blew the roof off with yesterday's? I think you needed to start with a lot of expose, and that just means painting the picture of, like, timeline. Because people don't know when. The, the whole idea is the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers were the ones who started, started stacking their way into the Capitol, and that was planned by a meeting on January 5th. So that having that play through, I think you needed to set it up. It's not the most exciting, but we needed to sort of all be on the same page in my, in my mind. Well, I don't know if the same page is ever going to be possible. I mean, the idea that... Yeah, with information, you're right. right yeah. That event, uh, you know, January 6, 2021, we all remember where we were. I was at my Aunt Mary's repass after the funeral in Red Springs, North Carolina, and I remember having to drive three hours um, in an area I wasn't familiar with and being very nervous because I didn't know what was happening in the, the rest of the country. That, to me is a significant event. Mm -hmm. It's something I'll never forget. So that doesn't equate to a dust up, but someone else can look at all of this with all of this information and call it that. And I think that's the problem. Right. How can they call it that? Because that's people are committed to their own narratives, not the facts. If we were but here that's yesterday, a lie. we saw exactly. It. But not everybody's even talking about this today. Right. A lot of people, right. Some programs didn't even show it. Right. So some people don't even know what, what, what really went down. Mm. Um, I do want to address this really quickly. It appears that former President Donald Trump is kind of throwing his daughter Ivanka under the bus. This is, of course, after the committee played a portion of her tape testimony last night. So Ivanka testified that after speaking to then Attorney General Bill Barr, that she agreed with his assertion that the election wasn't rigged. Take a listen. It affected my perspective. Um, I respect Attorney General Barr. Um, so I... 
accepted what he said was saying. So this morning, Trump did respond saying, quote, Ivanka was not involved in looking at or studying election results. She had long since checked out and was, in my opinion, only trying to be respectful to Bill Barr and his position as attorney general. He sucked. Now, if you're curious, here is some of that testimony from Bill Barr. I had three discussions with the president that I can recall. One was on November 23rd, one was on December 1st, and one was on December 14th. And I've been through sort of the give and take of those discussions. And in that context, I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was Jeff, do you think that President Trump believes truly that the election was stolen or it's more of a power play? I believe that he thinks it was stolen. I think Barr thinks it was stolen. I think his daughter, even though with her vague answer, was she could be like, Dad, you lost. This, it's over. No matter who tells him, in, in Trump's mind, this is just my belief, I'm not a psychologist, he believes it was stolen from him. He believes what he's saying. There's some sort of, got to be some sort of term Maybe I don't like know. Narcissism. Yeah, I guess you could. You, I don't know if that's a proper term. We're not psychologists, but there's some something going on there. But I really do believe he thinks that way. I think that's absolutely false. I think he's a con man and has been since Roy Cohn and how he started way back in the 70s and 80s. He cons people out of money. He stiffs workers. He knows what he's doing. Went to Wharton Business School. This guy knows how elections work and tried to find 11,790 votes. So that is I'm, I'm not him. making an excuse for him. I'm saying that's what I think and he I believes. Think, I think you're being con. What do you think the aftermath is going to be? When I saw that footage, it reminded me of seeing footage of terrorists in other countries storming a the consulate. Coup. Right. Well, hopefully what they're trying to prove is seditious conspiracy. It's not just that he incited the riot. He conspired beforehand, January 5th, January 4th. If they can prove that, that's what they're going to charge him with. That's what the American people should be paying attention to. It's very important. Our president at the time was okay with killing our vice president. He said it. That's really important to hear. And I feel like not enough people people are sort of understanding that. Well, let's see what our very own viewers have to say. They believe, uh, what did you think of the hearing? Smoking gun, 78%, 1% met, and 21% of you believe it was a witch hunt.